So what is up, YouTube? It's me, Dave, True Star Screamer, and we have something very special to look at today. I really need to thank my good friend, personal bud, T-Man978, the master of the chill review, for hooking me up with this. Now, if you guys don't know T-Man, I highly recommend you check out his channel. Um, I'll put the link down below. He's an awesome reviewer. I mean, you know, he's part of the syndicate. I mean, how much more good great do you get? He was able to secure for me through his personal co connections a real near one of a kind exclusive figure. Um, and he was he he you know he messed with it. He actually didn't review it. He said it wasn't quite it didn't quite work with his collection. And from what he told me, he got me a great price on this. So, um, let me grab it for you real quick. This is, okay, yes. This is a figure arts Darth Vader, but this is a super special Tamashi special edition. It is called the Otaku no Baka edition, is what I was told. And apparently they're not, like, we're talking less than a hundred of these were made. And somehow he was able to get me this. He's like, Dave, when I hear the words Otaku no Baka, I, th I heard, immediately thought of you. So apparently, well, I'm going to show you, okay? This came with some really cool accessories. And um, let's just get to the reviewing table and get things started. Okay. Now, this is actually a really, really big moment for me here because, um, you know, reviewers... You know, only the big leaguers really get their hands on something exclusive as this. And again, I'm going to get to why this guy is such an awesome exclusive. And so I really feel like I'm crossing into the big leagues here. What makes this Vader so special is the fact it came with three extra heads. That each one is supposed to be, you know, really expressive. So, of course, we have the basic Vader, you know, kind of sitting there looking all loomy loomy doom and gloom but the head you know it just pops right off so not a bad connection and then you get this one here Go ahead and get this back on this one's okay this one's kind of neat I mean you only use it for a certain scenario for posing but this is the Obi-Wan never told you about your father, you know, it's kind of more of a grim expression It looms a little more And so okay, let me zoom that in for you You can really see it kind of has the Snarky expression that uh, was you probably imagine Vader had during Empire Strikes Back Then um, you've got one here and get this back on here. Pop that on. Um, this one's probably my second favorite. It's the. Ah, dang it, I gotta get the feet on there. This has the more stern, you know. If you only knew the power of the dark side. I mean, this truly just shows that emotion that Vader was going through, that passion of showing the anger, you know, when he was really embracing it all. Um, now this one I probably think is, pop that off here. Where would I put it, where would I put it? Okay, this is, this is the weak. This one I want to say is the weakest one. I mean, yeah, if you have maybe a couple of stormtroopers, but this is that I find your lack of faith amusing face. <sighs> I'm definitely not going to put this in storage. Uh, I mean, I'm putting that one, leave that one in the box. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's such a subtle emotion. 
And when you think Darth Vader, you, you always think the high expressions. But speaking of high expressions, I'm going to wrap this with my favorite one. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, uh, whoops. Sorry. Dropped it. Dropped it. Ah, no, 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 no. Dang it. Dang, this thing was expensive. All right. All right. And there we go. This is the one that if you're going to spend the money for this exclusive that you're paying for, this is the no face you know the famous from the you know the third movie which i think just shows the raw emotion of anakin skywalker i mean if you're gonna shell out the money for an exclusive like this this is the face you get it for um as i said t-man hooks me up i'm gonna end with this one right here i mean it has all the other accessories that Vader has, the lightsaber and the chopped up hands, but it's these alternate faces that what makes this exclusive so good. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I said, it, it, even though he got me a good price, it wasn't cheap. It was about just about $250 for it after the shipping fees and all, but hey, it's a hobby and seriously, it's a toy and I couldn't say no. I mean, as I said, every reviewer has to get that one exclusive. And I figure again, this will be the thing to skyrocket me into the big game. So I really want to thank T-Man for getting me such a good price for this review. And it just, he's such a good friend. Oh, sorry. Hold on, someone's at the door. Okay, um, that was my wife actually who was at the door. And ah, damn. apparently she heard how much I paid for that figure when I was doing that review. I didn't quite tell her. You know, she thinks that that kind of price was too expensive, but ah, dang. Mmm. 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 My woman's got a mean hook, but. Anyway, appreciate you guys joining with me on this review. Hopefully uh, next week, dang, I'm going to show you something a little cooler too. I got, T-Man also sold me this Colossus variant. And so I'll probably get a little more depth on here. I'm not going to say how much I paid on this one. But um, you guys have a great April 1st. And until next time, you can catch me at True Star Screamer. And until next time, take care. Like, comment, and subscribe.